Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you the simplest way of converting percentage to grams and grams to percentage. This is a highly requested tutorial from many of you. Before we start, we need to understand the meaning of percentage. When we say percent, we are actually talking about 100. Percentage means a number or amount in a hundred and 100% represent a whole quantity. For example, this chart with the numbers from 1 to 100 represents 100%. And in the second chart, the green section is 25% and the white section is 75%. So if we add the green section, which is 25%, to the white section, which is 75%, we get 100%. Now that we understand the meaning of percentage, the next step is to convert a formula from percentage to grams. The first example is a water in oil body moisturizing cream that I created. And as you can see, the ingredients are written in percentages. We are going to convert this 100% formula to a 75 grams recipe. On the left side of this chart, we have the ingredients and on the right side, the percentage of each ingredient. We have to convert each ingredient from percentage to grams. When converting a formula from percentage to grams, there are two important points you have to take note of. The first point is the percentage of each ingredient. And the second point is the total amount of grams you want to convert the formula to. To convert percentage to grams, we multiply the percentage of each ingredient by the total volume in grams that you wish to convert the percentage to, which is 75 grams in this case, and then divide the result that you got from the multiplication by 100, and you get the answer. Let's do it step by step on this chart. As you can see, the first ingredient is quailing, which makes up 10% of the formula. This 10% squalene needs to be converted into grams so that it fits into a 75 grams recipe. To do this, we multiply 10 by 75, which gives us 750. Then we take the result from the multiplication, this 750, and divide it by 100. And this gives us 7.5 grams. This means that 7.5 grams of squalene is the amount required. If you want to formulate a 75 grams recipe from this 100% formula, make sure you do the same calculation with each ingredient in your formula. I will show you another example with distilled water. As you can see, distilled water is 20% of the formula. We multiply this 20 by 75 and the answer is 1500. Then we divide 1500 by 100 and the answer is 15. This means that when preparing a 75 gram recipe from this 100 gram formula, the amount of distilled water to be used is 15 grams. I would like to emphasize again, for accuracy, please make sure you convert the percentage of each ingredient in your formula to grams. Now that we know how to convert percentages into grams, the next step is to learn how to convert grams into percentages. Here we have a recipe of 40 grams. To convert these 40 grams to percentage, take the amount of each ingredient in grams, multiply it by 100, then divide the result of the multiplication by 40, and you get the answer, which is the percentage. Let's do it step by step using this chart. As you can see, we have 6.4 grams of grapeseed oil. To convert this to percentage, we multiply 6.4 by 100, 
which gives us 640. Then divide this 640 by 40. And the answer is 16. So the percentage of grapeseed oil is 16%. I will present another example with the emulsifier. Here we multiply 2.4 by 100. This gives us 240. Then we divide the 240 by 40. And the answer is 6. So the percentage of emulsifier is 6%. To get an accurate result, every ingredient in this recipe must be converted from gram to percentage. I hope that after watching this tutorial, you are now able to convert percentages to grams and grams to percentages. Thank you for watching. I wish you a beautiful day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye and God bless you.